You and your friends are freelancers, the heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown and protect humanity. Let's join two players as they head out on an expedition. Hey, Paul. You ready to go? I'm just grabbing some supplies. Just about ready. What are you going to use today? I decided to go with the Colossus. I'm going to use my Ranger. Try out some new upgrades. The expected is around every corner. Uh, I'm not sure we want to use all our supplies on this guy. Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. We're getting some fire from up ahead. I'll go low. You flank. Javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. Oh, there are a lot of scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Have time to use that mortar. <laughs> There's a bunch more coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. <laughs> oh, come on. Be something good. Oh, yes! Jer's Wrath. Oh, nice. Large-scale world events like Shaper Storms are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Oh, Shaper Storm incoming. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, what's happening? I'm right behind you. Storm is getting crazy. So what are we supposed to do? Fly into it? All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. Our story is out there.
Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
So that was one of the big features uh, we wanted to make sure that we had before showing the game to the public, to everybody, so that we, we wanted to make sure that the technology was working and uh, this big ambitious game was uh, feasible. I'm going, I'm, go back, I'm going back to my spaceship. I want just to show you some gameplay ingredients. I'm going to change a little bit the time so that we have a bit more sun, yeah? So that spaceship is very, very nice. It, it's very close to the Beluga we had in Beyond Good and Evil 1. It can handle very large speed, but it's, it's also very easy to uh, do loopings and uh, trigger very fast movements. So it's a dogfighter. I can increase the speed. So this is a classic uh, plane speed we have on Earth. We are about 1,000 kilometers per hour. But you can increase that speed dramatically, like this, for example. And you will see, the, so the speed is increasing now. You see that it's about 5,000 kilometers per hour. Let's go back in the city so that we can really understand the speed. And I can increase the speed again. use some tricks, movements, and then we are going to do a looping, for example. So you can combine anything, any movements, and the very nice thing too is that you can even increase the speed to 20,000 kilometers per hour, which is a lot. I'm going to try, yeah, to drift like that. So at any time you can, you have the drifting mode, you have the, all these these very interesting movements.
have fled through the building. Eliminate them. Should have worn a helmet. You got what you came for. You don't need to kill us, too. Fisk's territory is ours now. Not today. Hey, Willie. You. Nice jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Saving bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go. to smelt the ore with, and the king won't get his silver. <laughs> Which king do you mean, Master Tobias? The one... You know you owe Father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. <laughs> <laughs> Country. For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund. Woohoo! Eat shit, doshes. You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? Hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in the tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Poor sons! Let's make those smiles off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this poxy doisha? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. <laughs> Fuck her! I'll make you pay for that! What are you doing? 
for God's sake! Yeah! This here is the Great Jagras, a monster that can swallow its prey whole, almost doubling its size. It is not our main target, however, but it's conveniently heading in the same direction that our scout flies have been leading us, so let's follow it and see what it does. Monster Hunter World introduces new environmental hazards, allowing you to use the landscape to trap and mount your prey. to now shrug off ferocious attacks, it's time for the hunter to unleash some payback with a powerful wyvern ammo. And there it is! Quest complete and a job well done. All right, you completed the quest. Congrats! Now we can harvest precious materials from the monsters and use those to gear up for our next... Ah, the joy of a new voyage far across the Sea of Thieves. 
just you, the wide open world, and oh, well, it's not just you, she's here too. Oh, and this guy's here. But, but, but the point is, this is a shared world, right for exploring and raiding with your fine pirate crew. Look at them, scurrying around, making themselves useful. That's what we like to see. The world of Sea of Thieves seethes with possibilities, with adventures skulking above and below the waves. All you have to do is jump in and up. Oh, there she goes. Few things tempt a pirate like the siren song of a lootable shipwreck. Careful though, there could be anything down there. Literally, there could be anything. We haven't finished designing it yet. Joking, that was a joke. Ah, sunken treasure. It's like a pirate performance voice. and infamy. Become a pirate of legend. Just try not to be this one.